Valentine by John Fuller. The things about you I appreciate may seem indelicate. I'd like to find you in the shower and chase the soap for half an hour. I'd like to have you in my power and see your eyes dilate. I'd like to have your back to scour and other parts to lubricate. Sometimes I feel it is my fate to chase you screaming up a tower or make you cower by asking you to differentiate Nietzsche from Schopenhauer. I'd like to successfully guess your weight and win you at a fate. I'd like to offer you a flower. I like the hair upon your shoulders falling like water over boulders. I like the shoulders too. They are essential. Your collarbones have great potential. I'd like to see your particulars in folders marked confidential. I like your cheeks. I like your nose. I like the way your lips disclose the neat arrangement of your teeth, half above and half beneath, in rows. I like your eyes. I like their fringes. The way they focus on me gives me twinges. Your upper arms drive me berserk. I like the way your elbows work on hinges. I like your wrists. I like your glands. I like the fingers on your hands. I'd like to teach them how to count, and certain things we might exchange, something familiar for something strange. I'd like to give you just the right amount and get some change. I like it when you tilt your neck up. I like the way you nod and hold a teacup. I like your legs when you unwind them. Even in trousers, I don't mind them. I like each softly molded kneecap. I like the little crease behind them. I'd always know without recap where to find them. I like the sculpture of your ears. I like the way your profile disappears whenever you decide to turn and face me. I'd like to cross two hemispheres and have you chase me. I'd like to smuggle you across frontiers or sail with you at night into Tangiers. I'd like you to embrace me. I'd like to see you ironing your skirt and cancelling other dates. I'd like to button up your shirt. I like the way your chest inflates. I'd like to soothe you when you're hurt or frightened, senseless by invertebrates. I'd like you even if you were malign and had a yen for sudden homicide. I'd let you put insecticide into my wine. I'd even like you if you were the bride of Frankenstein, or something ghoulish out of Mamoulian's Jekyll and Hyde. I'd like you as my Julian of Norwich or Kathleen Nihulian. How melodramatic if you were something muttering in attics, like Mrs. Rochester, or a student of Boolean mathematics. You are the end of self-abuse. You are the eternal feminine. I'd like to find a good excuse to call on you and find you in. I'd like to put my hand beneath your chin and see you grin. I'd like to taste your Charlotte Russe. I'd like to feel my lips upon your skin. I'd like to make you reproduce. I'd like you in my confidence. I'd like to be your second look. I'd like to let you try the French defense and mate you with my rook. I'd like to be your preference, and hence, I'd like to be around when you unhook. I'd like to be your only audience, the final name in your appointment book, your future tense.